Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix controller issues on the PC for this game. It's very easy to do, so try not to skip any steps. The first thing you want to do if you're on PlayStation controller, the DualSense or DualShock controller, you want to use a DS4 for Windows right here. It's a DS4-Windows.com. But this is a free uh, software that you can connect, uh, you download and you can basically uh, use uh, PlayStation controllers on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. I highly recommend it if you don't have it. So basically what you do is you download it, you install and launch it, you connect your PS5 or PS4 controller via USB or Bluetooth. And then in DS4 uh, Windows in the software, you set the controller to emulate a Xbox 360 controller and then launch Clear Obscure Expedition 33 and test it and it should work well. The next thing you want to do if you're on Steam is to disable input for specific controllers. How do you do that? So you find the game on Steam, you right click on it and you go to properties. On the left hand side, you go to controller and right here, you're going to see override for system shock or uh, override for this game. And you say disable steam input. Then you uh, close the properties and launch the game. Uh, see if that fixes the issue. The next thing you want to try is enable the controller in Windows sound control panel. Uh, some controllers are not recognized because they're disabled in Windows sound settings, which can affect gamepad detection. Uh, so you want to enable the controller in the sound control panel. Uh, so how do you do that? Uh, in the search bar, you go to control panel. You go to hardware and sound. You go to sound. Uh, you, can you connect your controller. And then after you find it, it should be listed as, a game as gamepad or controller. You right click on it and say enable. Then after you enable it, you right click it. Uh, you say configure speakers and then you select quadraphonic. Select next and finish and then launch the game and test it. The next thing you want to do is update the controller firmware. Um, so if you're on Xbox, uh, you uh, if you're using an Xbox controller, you want to download the Xbox uh, Microsoft accessories. So you want to go to Microsoft Store. You want to download the Xbox accessories. You want to download this, connect your Xbox controller via USB and then check for firmware updates, firmware updates and install them if available. Alternatively, if you're on PlayStation controller, you want to download the PlayStation accessory app and then uh, download the firmware for that. If you're on a third party controller, you want to go to device manager, type in device manager into search. You want to expand uh, human interface devices. So it should look like something like this. And basically you want to find any devices not in use and you want to right click and disable them. And uh, the one that you are using, you can right click and say update driver, search automatically for drivers and then launch the game to see if that fixes the issue. If this video helped you, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice night.